today's video, my friend Jessica and I are going to talk about a restaurant crush. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yes. Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. Today I'm here with my friend Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Jessica. I've been in Beijing for a while and I have a Chinese husband from Beijing. I've actually been in China for seven years. Seven years. Very yeah. long. That's very long. <laughs> so hopefully I can help you give some advice today. Yes. And this video is yet another AMWF advice video, which we do every single Friday. So remember, if you have a question about these Asian male, Western female relationships, then, then please send me an email on info at lanaaround.com or find me on social media, Lena Around, Instagram or Facebook. Yes. Recently, I've received a few emails from you guys. Thank you very much. And today we're going to talk about a little restaurant crush. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so the email was very, very long. So I have made a summary of it. And would you please read it? I'd love to do the honors. All right, let's see <laughs> this. So this American girl has a crush on a Chinese man who works in a restaurant near her. She went in for takeout and started talking with him. He was a lot of fun and she realized that she was crushing on him. She walks in randomly a few times to his restaurant where he works to talk to him and he's always smiling and looking at her as well. Something is definitely in the air. She learned that he has a two-year-old, two-year-old son, I think, and, but no mention of a wife. He's been in the US for 20 years already. She doesn't have the guts to ask about the elephant in the room. Does he have a wife? Mm -hmm. And she sent him a Christmas card and even baked cookies for him and his coworkers, which were well received, and has told him directly that he is adorable. <laughs> He's professional and smiles, but never gives too much away. But he does seem interested in her opinion. Yeah. So what do you think? What is going on? What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? First, just gotta say, I think it's so great that you're making cookies. Next time, just send some this way. And yeah. send them to the restaurant workers, yeah, yeah. the restaurant staff. <laughs> I do love it. That's really nice. Um, okay, yeah, so what are you thinking about this? Uh, you know, I, I feel like this is a very direct problem. I do yeah. feel like uh, this is something that could be easily solved if you just go in and say, hey, so what are you doing tonight? Um, and who's gonna look after your son? Yeah. Wife, girlfriend? Yeah. And if he says, no, I'm single, mm. then you just tell him like, oh, okay, you yeah. wanna go hang out outside of the restaurant situation. Oh right. my God, that's a two in one right there. I know. I, Wow, girl! Just giving that advice too quick, you know? Okay, yeah, that was all. Thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Well, what would you do? Um, I would also, well, we, so the thing is, I would probably just go straight and ask, like, are you married? Because I guess that's just the easy way to get around it. And here in China, like, the culture is very straightforward, so you just, like, yeah. just I'm, throw it out there. I'm an American, I'm really direct, but it's true that in America we wouldn't ask the question, are you married? Mm -hmm. We would just look for a ring. But yeah. considering in Chinese culture, mm -hmm. uh, they don't actually wear wedding rings. Typically. But then again, if he's been there for 20 years, yeah, you'd think he would. You would think he would. So, who <laughs> but knows? But he's cooking. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, it's it true. It's cooking. Exactly. Yeah. So why don't, I mean, it's not a big deal in Chinese culture. And also everyone knows Americans are direct. So just mm. go in there and be like, yeah. hey, you married? Yeah. No? You want to go out? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go on a date then. <laughs> and if he says no, well, then you, you can move on and never go there for takeaway again. <laughs> don't waste your time. Yeah. I hope it's not your favorite restaurant, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, and also be prepared. Like, are you ready to take on a situation where he's got a two-year-old, especially who two knows? Year old, yeah. yeah. Whereas if, if he isn't married, then where is his ex-wife or girlfriend or, you mm. know, or if he's living with like a granny or an auntie or something. Yeah. It I, might even be more my fun. <laughs> yeah, it might have said in the email, but I, I didn't see it. But I was wondering, yeah, who's taking care of the son, the, the mm. two-year-old? Yeah. Uh, while he's at work or while he's busy. So. Yeah, so that's another thing. Like if you don't want to go too direct and ask, <laughs> then, you know, just ask who's taking care of your baby, you know? Right. 
you have a baby or or ask for pictures you know oh can i see your baby yeah. and then he's gonna show you the baby on the phone and there might be a mom in the picture yeah and that's true if there isn't you could maybe even that would like lead into the conversation like so mm. you know where's where's your wife you know right and, nice and yeah Funny. i know that it seems like from the the email that this person who wrote it in, the girl was kind of projecting a lot of emotions towards his body language. Like mm. he always smiled and <laughs> and said, oh, this is great. Like when you bake the cookies mm. and he brought it in like, oh, this is great. But who yeah. knows if he's trying to be really professional or he yeah. just really loves you because you made him cookies. He really likes cookies. <laughs> yeah, really and also, cookies, and if yeah. you're going in there a lot, I assume you're ordering food, so yeah. apparently you're a good customer. A good, that was a good one, actually. Yeah. yeah, I really think that he, you, like the girl might be putting too much into his actions, uh, because I, I, I actually now I remember that in my student town, it was this pizzeria, mm -hmm. pizza place, and there they only hired cute asian guys <gasps> really yes seriously like that was the only place in town where you would find like asian guys because there are not many of them in that but there wasn't many in that town and so i would go down there to get a piece i seriously thought the guy who wanted to be my boyfriend after just ordering a pizza because they were flirting so much and I straight I went straight into Facebook to um, it's very easy in a small town like you kind of know you know yeah so it was very easy for me to find him on Facebook and he was in a relationship and I was like right okay obviously they're making a lot of money here you yeah know? so and that is a good tactic I mean if you get some girls really interested you're gonna buy more food so come again and again and again <laughs> So yeah, yeah, it's it's possible that maybe he's just trying to be polite, but who knows? Like you're not gonna know until you ask. And yeah. even if it's negative, like you don't have to avoid the restaurant forever. <laughs> if he says like, no, I don't want to get coffee or or to take dinner, a drink, yeah. you can still go in and be nice and be his friend and eat. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, take a break and come back again. You know, just maybe go to another Chinese restaurant. Hint, hint. Exactly. <laughs> you know. So did you? But did you see any cultural things? I mean, is there anything in Chinese culture here that might might play into this? Because I do feel like China is more of an indirect culture. However, yeah. if he's been in the states for twenty years, yeah. then he knows what he's doing. Right? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Because I would say if this had happened in China, and if he didn't have a baby then I would say okay he might be interested because uh, Kat and I have discussed this before that Chinese guys can be mainland Chinese guys can be very shy and we, we usually say they just don't flirt at all yeah. <laughs> like or very little you know very little and very often we're like was, was that flirty? Like, <laughs> Really? <laughs> right. You know, they're just being so nice and they're helping you, taking care of you and taking you out for dinner and stuff. But but this guy's been there for 20 years. Yeah. That's like a total different, like... Completely different story. He could mm. be introverted though. Or even or if he's shy. introverted and he only hangs out with Chinese people in the Chinese community where he lives. Yeah. Like that's, that's a small possibility, but even then you'd have to consider all of the cultural things that go with that. And if yeah. you would even want to get in into a relationship yeah. with <laughs> with someone who only hangs out, you know, with the Chinese people, which would yeah. be fine. You just need to learn more of the culture before, you know, you dive in. Yeah, because I don't think she mentioned anything about like a China interest, did she? No. No, I don't think so. Yeah. So uh, that's for sure another thing you should consider. Like dating dating another culture is um well, love conquers many things. Mm. Um but not everything. That's that's yeah. yeah. Mm. Nah. So, <laughs> yeah. so yeah, I, I feel like the simplest solution, and I thought it was so sweet that she baked cookies. I know, yes. Oh, and the, the Christmas card, she wrote yeah. Christmas card too. That was, like, I just feel like people don't do that enough anymore. Either. I know, that's how I feel. And I'm, I feel like I'm the person who would do something like that. Yeah. And I've been there where people are really accepted, like they're really happy to get such a gift, but at the same time, they're kind of like, you know, I didn't ask for this. Mm, it was nice of you, like, but it's nice yeah. of you, but it's still a little weird because I don't really know you, and I, you know, I don't care. So yeah. happens. Yeah, and again, it's in the West. Yeah, I feel like in China, if a guy or a girl did that to the other person, then it might be more of a hint than the one. I don't know. Um, yeah, who knows?
knows? I think that's a pretty big hint if you bake cookies. I think he should know by now. But again, no, I don't think this is a China thing. I think this is a guy thing. Guys can be pretty oblivious sometimes. Be direct, girl. Be direct. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's just our answer from here. Like be direct, you know, and please let me know afterwards. Please send us an email so we we know how it how it went down. Yeah, we would love to know. If you guys started baking cookies together now. Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> or if you're baking cookies with another person. <laughs> Nobody knows. Well, anyways, that was all for this video. Thank you very much to Jessica. Yeah, it's great yeah. to be here. Yeah, and uh, remember to send me an email if you have any questions about AMWF Asian male Western female relationships. You can find me on my email info at lenaround.com or my social media Lena Around, Instagram and Facebook. Check that out as well. Remember to subscribe and give us a like as well, yeah. of course. That would be great. And we'll see you again very, very soon. Jessica and Ling Ling is out. See you and Sai Bye bye.